So one of the great things about these scopes compared with um, a standard Newtonian is that they almost never need any kind of collimation. Um, but when you do need to collimate them, uh, using the standard Cheshire or laser um, um, collimator isn't often the best way to do it. What you really need to do is a star test, a real star test. And uh, if you want to do that during the daylight, that's a bit difficult. Now you can buy uh, um, some artificial stars from all the astronomical shops. And it's basically a uh, bright LED going through a very small precision aperture to give you a small pinpoint of light. Uh, I'd like to show you a quick way of doing it without having to spend that kind of money. So what I've got here is an LED lenser, um, standard torch. And I've got a little clip on the front of it, which basically was used for some filters. I've got a red filter so I can use it as my night vision torch and a bit of tin foil. I just put the tin foil over the top and get it reasonably flat and put the top back over it to hold it in place. So now what I've got, even when I turn the torch on, is a uh, completely dead space. But to create my star, I'm going to use a, uh, a pinpoint, smallest as you can really, you want it here, and just make a little pinprick in the middle. And then when I switch it on, yeah, there we go. What you get is a very small pinpoint of light. So what I'm going to do now is to take this and put it as far away from in my garden as I can from the telescope, uh, which in this case is about uh, 15 meters. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so I've turned the um, LED lenser on with the artificial star hole in the front of it and I put it on top of the water butt at the end of the garden and here's my telescope mounted back in the house. Okay so now I've got the telescope pointing directly at the little light at the end of the garden and uh, if I focus on the light or uh, line it up with the light and actually defocus my eyepiece. I'll try and do this with the iPhone, it's not so easy. Yeah, okay, that's what you see. Right, so that's the um, that's the, the star point at the distance, but I've defocused it. Yeah, and you end up with these two rings. The outer ring, the outside of the big ring is the diameter of the primary mirror, and the hole in the middle is basically the secondary. And what we're looking for to make sure that this uh, device is collimated is that those two circles are concentric. Uh, as you can see from, from this, they are pretty well concentric, which is great. Uh, if they weren't, what I'd need to do is basically adjust the uh, screws at the back here, slacken off the larger ones, and then use the smaller screws in those three positions to adjust the, the mirror, um, to tilt the mirror, yeah, to tilt the mirror to, to basically line it up um, directly with the secondary. But as you can see, um, this scope really doesn't need collimation. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you.